Hi, we're going to have a study of Psalms 23, line by line, meaning for understanding. Let's start out with the first phrase. The Lord is my shepherd. God is my shepherd. The shepherd is the one who looks after the sheep. The sheep will follow God and hears his colleague or voice. A shepherd will look after his whole flock and do what it takes to keep every single one of them safe. We are the sheep, we follow him. Next, I shall not want. God will provide you with your needs, you shall not lack. Next, he maketh me lie down in green pastures. This sentence is very interesting. He maketh me can mean I was made by God, but it also means that he wants me to lie down in the green pastures. But what are those green pastures? Well, I believe it is a quiet and restful place where you could commune with God. He leadeth me beside the still waters. Leadeth me tells me that God shows me the correct way. God leads, leads me to the still waters. Still waters can mean peace and rest to one's spirit. But what if still waters could mean his still small voice? In other words, he is placing you in a restful, quiet place so you can hear his voice, his still small voice. He restoreth my soul. He adds oil to your soul. By hearing his voice, reading his word, resting, you are giving time that is necessary to know your Lord and Savior. It is like any relationship. You must spend time with the people you love and want to get to know better. This just doesn't happen on its own. You know, tomorrow never seems to come. Next, he leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his namesake. The path of righteousness means that you are not lying cheating, or doing anything that his word says not to do. You are following his rules. Why? Because those who love him will follow his rules. You are acting in accordance with his revealed character, and aren't we supposed to emulate and show his goodness within our own souls? Isn't that the whole purpose of our stay on earth, is to understand who we are in Christ? Next, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. The valley may imply the huge world we live in. The shadow of death refers to the people who walk in sin, and many have been taken over by demons that have permission to enter a person when they are in sin. I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Fear is not of God. If you are walking fully and completely with God, you should have no fear. For thou art with me means that God is with you. A matter of fact, God lives in you. Next, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. The rod and staff means a stick-like walking cane. You feel peace when you see God's rod or staff and thinks of them. I believe this can be expanded to anything that reminds you of God. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. When God prepares a table before me, I believe he is saying that we will be encountering our enemies and need to prepare for them. My enemies are the people who run the world. They have been in power for thousands of years. The idea that we elect people is just a illusion. Thou anoints my head with oil. Anoint means to rub or smear olive oil on the body. Oil is usually considered olive oil and means the indwelling or empowering of the Holy Spirit. Olive oil is usually used as a symbol to represent the atoning blood of Jesus Christ. One cannot give their oil to someone else. So each person must seek the Lord for themselves. Thus, the ten virgins story in the Bible, five with enough oil and five that were lacking. Next, my cup runneth over. My cup represents our body 
and soul, which is infused with the Holy Spirit, and that we are living in the Spirit rather than the flesh. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. God will have mercy on me since I know who he is and who I am in Christ. And last but not least, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever, those living with God within them and following his rules will enter in the house of the Lord forever. I hope this helped you understand Psalms 23 a little better. Thank you so much, and God bless.